These are some Dinar Guru updates starting off with Frank 26. Firefly TV is showing the IMF and the World Bank talking about Iraq. And then the IMF kind of started talking bad about us, Iraq. Criticizing out of nowhere, the World Bank stands up and says, get off their backs. There is a plan in place and expect imports to bust wide open because soon as the dinar revalues, Yes, the World Bank says this, says Frank 26. He says, the World Bank is saying the dinar revaluation will cause us to buy more imports because we have more purchasing power. They're telling us this. Frank says, it's no longer a secret. My goodness, this is straight from the horse's mouth. It's basically an announcement and evidence he said it. Right. Pimpy says not only is Iraq tackling infrastructure, fixing the 10th largest port in the world, opening up one of the largest roads for interstate commerce. In addition to that, they're meeting with the companies with the opportunity to do business with them and meeting with other countries for the opportunity to do trade with them. As they continue to grow economically and become stronger and they come up with alternative revenue outside of relying on oil, if they could do away with corruption, stabilize their government, keep these um, idiots from launching missiles at U.S. soldiers. All this contributes to the strengthening of the Iraqi dinar, and from there we'll start to see increases happening in increments as they go along. Mark Z via PDK from Rod Steele says the IMF was the holdup with some things taking a bit longer than expected. Yesterday, they predicted a completion and release for today in Iraq. I guess we will see shortly. All right, Breitling community comment. Obviously, Iraq wants and is expanding their markets. The currency swaps with all these other countries are something new. Why now? Why would a country wish to participate with Iraq in a currency swap for currency worth one-tenth of a penny unless you saw the future of dinar? Uh, Breitling says, bingo, not just the future of the dinar, it's the future of the market that's inside of Iraq. The reason you're seeing the tempo of the currency swaps inside of Iraq is because they're pulling all the currencies out that are competing with the local currency, which is the Iraqi dinar. From the local markets, they're trying to pull every currency out, euro, dollar, it doesn't matter. They're pulling it all out. You can only use the Iraqi dinar. This is very good news for us that this is happening. All right, Caperoni says they have to have the dinar stabilized within the country and within the 2% rule mandated by the IMF in order to then accept IMF Article 8 and begin to float the dinar, which would raise its value based on supply and demand. All of these processes and or steps require time. All right, Mark Z via PDK member story, former U.S. congressman at a function in North Carolina this past weekend. They point blank asked the politician about some of the banking changes and if he owned any foreign currencies and he was familiar with the revaluation. Uh, the former congressman said, absolutely, I have some. I bought the currency and it is absolutely real. When asked by our community member, who I have great respect for, he said, when asked about the dinar, I have some and we are expecting it. This is somebody with high level of knowledge from the inside. Militiaman says bilateral trade, multilateral trade, multilateral banking, all of these things to show Iraq is going international. I believe I'm going to be 100% right. The evidence is clear as day. Frank 26 Question, comment, uh, quote, I recall you saying you're thinking about doing your exchange process at your home or attorney office, unquote. Frank says, yes, I definitely plan to do my exchange more than likely in my home. If a bank wants my dinars, they're going to have to prove to me they want to take care of me and my dinars. They will not charge me anything to exchange. How rude would that be? My attorney will come to my house. The bank will come to my house. They will collect my dinars. We will sign papers, whatever. I have account paperwork. It's not that difficult. All right, Mark Z via PDK comment. I saw where the World Bank basically acknowledged the imminent revaluation of the IQD. Mark Z says, I did a deep dive this afternoon, reached out to Boots on the Ground over there, and well, wow, it is confirmed. I guess they said to back off Iraq as everything is settled and soon importing in a massive way. 
I'm very tickled to find out this is accurate. I verified there was a slip of tongue of Iraqi television about the dinar revaluing, but stay calm, it has not occurred yet. We do not know the timing. It could be a day or a week, but this is absolutely huge. All right, Pimpy says, I'm anticipating an increase at somewhere around the first quarter of next year. The only reason why I think that that is I'm paying attention to everything that Iraq is doing. I think because they're getting away from the dollar in 2024, let's hope and see if they do it. In addition to that, they already started doing currency swaps with other uh, countries, which means they are, uh, I'm sorry, it says counties, but which means they're going to start doing trade in each other's dollars. This is good. That's why I think we're going to start to see an increase somewhere around the first quarter of next year. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK, a banking story, a friend of mine in New Brunswick in Canada and is a dinar holder, walked in to one of the Scotia banks and asked a manager if they were Basel 3 and ISO uh, 20022 compliant. He replied that they were. My friend went on to say that he was a dinar holder, asked the manager if he knew anything about the upcoming currency exchange slash RV. Manager said his staff is trained and ready for it. They're just waiting for the word. So there is a bank manager in Scotia who knows about the RV trained and ready for it. 